Hello, this is uh, the AQA Functional Skills Level 1 Mathematics Paper 1, that means the non-calculated paper for February 2021. We have half an hour to do it in, so let's give it a go. The first question is a probability question. We have seven numbers and they're asking us, uh, that's, oh, they're telling us that somebody chose a number, circle the probability, that the number is greater than three. So we want to find all the numbers that are greater than three. So all the number are, there's all the numbers that are greater than three are those. So how many do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five. There are five numbers that are greater than three. So we're looking for five out of the seven numbers. So there's our answer. Next one. The next one is an order of operation question. I hope you can see it's a two plus a four multiplied by a 5. Now here you have to remember that multiplication is always done first. So 4 times 5 is 20. And then we have 2 plus 20 gives us the answer 22. Another one mark question. Nice. Question 3 is a bit of what they would might call common knowledge, what you need to know. In a year, how many full weeks are there? And this is a case of just knowing it. There are 52 weeks in a year. So there's our three marks for the first page. Let's move on. Question number four. Question number four is a calculation. It tells us that we have 15,627 divided by 1,000. Now notice 1,000 has three zeros. So I'm going to take my 15,600 27 divided by 10 divided by 100 divided by 1000 so I'm going to end up with a decimal dot between the 5 and the 6 so the answer is 15.627 one mark question 5 once again they give us a list of numbers and they're asking us to work out the range and here you have to remember that you must have the biggest number and the biggest number there is 15 and you must take away the smallest number. And look carefully, where's the smallest number? There it is. 15 take away 3 is 12. You can test it or check it by working backwards. 12 plus 3 is 15. So yes, that's correct. So let's write our answer. 12. Question 6 is a two-mark question. And a two-mark question is asking for a percentage calculation. There are many different ways of doing this. One method is to write out the calculation, which is 5 out of 100, multiplied by 60. Okay. You notice that uh, we have basically a zero on the top and a zero on the bottom, so we could cancel out some zeros. So now we have 5 times 6, which is 30, and on the bottom we have 10. So we could cancel some zeros again, and so the answer here would be 3. So I'm going to write the answer 3. A different method is to remember that 10% you divide by 10. So a different method would be to remember that 10% is the same as 6. But I don't want 10%. I was half of that. Half of 10 is 5. Half of 6 is 3. And you notice you get the same answer. Okay. Now we have finished section B. Sorry, we've finished section A. So we're now moving on to section B. Section B are a bit longer. So we need to have a little bit more care when we do those. Here's section B question. They're telling us it's a trip to Edinburgh. Two people are going to Edinburgh and they're going to and they're coming back by train. So they're going and coming back by train. And this is an advert, and they tell us that the two people traveling on a rail card, one rail card for two people costs 30 pounds, and it gives you a third off the normal price. They also tell us that the normal price of a return ticket is 81 pounds. Javid buys two of these rail cards and he says the total cost of the rail card and the tickets is cheaper than buying two normal return tickets and it's cheaper by more than £20. Is he correct? Show your workings. So we're going to have to work out, first of all, what would it be? Well, you can do this second. The order doesn't matter. But I'm going to first of all start by working out what would be the normal cost. And the normal cost would be £81. Multiply by 2 because there's 2 people, double 1 is 2, 
and double eight is 16. So the normal price, the total normal price would be 162 pounds. So that's what we're going to basically compare it. So if he's correct, our answer with the discount will be 20 pounds less than that or more. So we'll check. So now we need to work out the offer. And the offer, first of all, to do that, they must buy two of these cards. And two of these cards cost £30. Two lots of 30 is 60 Okay, So that's how much it costs for the rail card. But it also tells us that it's a third off the normal price. So we're going to have to work out what a third of the normal price is. So it's up to you how you work it out. But we already know the normal price is 162 So we're going to work out a third of um, I'm just thinking, is there a faster way of doing this? Probably, probably not. Let's do that. One third multiplied by the total price. Okay. Which basically gives me 162 divided by three. Okay. So we're going to split this into three. I'm not sure how keen you are with division, but basically we can say three doesn't fit into one, but does three fit into 16? Yes, it does. Five times, because five times three is 15. I have a remainder of 1, so I have now 12. 12 divided by 3 is 54. So this is how much money is coming off. Be careful. Remember that off means you're taking it off, so we have to calculate that. So the cost was £162. Take away 54. Okay. To do that, you might need to do a little bit of a calculation elsewhere. It's up to you. So we're just going to say 152, take away 54. 2 take away 4, I must borrow. So I'm going to end up here with a 5 and a 12. 12 take away 4 is 8. 5 take away 5 is nothing and a 1. So here I'm going to end up with 108. We can just check it because 4 plus 8 is 12. So I'll end up with 2 carry 1. 5 plus 1 is 6. So yes, that's fine. So this is how much they will pay for the tickets. So how much do they pay if they use the offer? They will pay £60 and they'll pay £108. So we need to put those together. So I'm going to say 60 plus 108. When I add that together, I'm going to get £168. To me, it looks like I've made a mistake somewhere, haven't I? Let's just see. Let's think this through. Full price, there and back, is that. Uh, the rail ticket. Ah! I see what I've done. Can you spot the mistake I've made? I've said two rail tickets, two of the offers are 60, but notice here it says that the rail card includes two people. So I've doubled here incorrectly. How do I know I made a mistake? Because if you look at it, that was coming out bigger than what we were expecting. So I'm going to just cross this off because this bit here is wrong. Okay. So when we're doing this, what I really should have done is just one rail card, because that's enough for two people. 30 plus 108 would give me 138. Now that looks better, because as we know, it had to be cheaper. Otherwise, what's the point of buying the rail card? So the question is, is this cheaper by £20 or more? So let's just subtract it away from each other, or count upwards, it's up to you. So let's do 162, take away 138. So for that, I'm going to have to borrow, so that becomes 5, 12. 12 take away 8 is 4. 5 take away 3 is 2. And so it is £24 cheaper. And he says the total cost will be cheaper by more than £20. And so the answer is yes. Okay, well, we... Sorry about that little mistake, but we spotted it in time, didn't we? So well done. Let's turn over. So we're now on to part B of this question. And they're telling us that the train will leave at 10.27 a.m. They need to meet at a station 35 minutes. Oh, no, they need to. OK, they will meet. They need to, 35 minutes to drive to a station. They need a quarter of an hour to park and then to buy the tickets and to get to the platform. They decide to leave the home at 9.30. Is that enough time to catch the train? So let's test it out. So we're going to start at 9.30. We're going to add the time onto it and see if they can get there in time to catch that train. So what do we need to do? OK, so they need to drive to the station. That's 35 minutes. So I'm going to add 35 minutes onto that. So 9.30 plus another 30 would be 10. Another 5 minutes makes it 10.05. Okay. 
Then we're going to do a quarter of an hour. Now a quarter of an hour, a quarter of 60 minutes is 15 minutes. Okay, so an hour is 60 minutes. So if you divide that into fours, halve it and halve it again, you get 30 and half of 30 is 15. So a quarter of an hour is 15 minutes. So I'm going to add here 15 minutes to add onto that. So we have five plus five is 10 plus another 10. So that will make it 10. 20 a.m. So that's the time they would be ready. And the question is, was it in plenty of time? Yes, it is, because they have seven minutes. There'll be minute, there'll be seven minutes early. So the answer is yes. They have seven minutes. Good. Four marks for that. That one you just have to be careful. It's very easy to make a little mistake, but it's not a bad question. 7C, the last one of this one, so let's have a go. Full marks. There's some information about the cost of some food, pizza, fish, chicken, and some drinks. They tell us that when they're in Edinburgh, Javid and Alice go to the cafe. Here's a menu. They order a pizza and a coffee, and she orders a chicken and a juice. They have a voucher for £8 towards the cost, and in total, how much more do they have to pay? So we're going to find the total cost, and then after that, we're going to work out how much more they need to pay. So he bought a pizza and he bought a coffee. Okay, so we need to add those together. She also bought, bought a, a chicken and a juice. So we're going to add those all together. So where shall we do it? We can do it here, or we can do it at the bottom. Let's just do it at the bottom. So we know there's a pizza. We know that there's a chicken. We know there's a coffee. And we know there's a juice. Okay, four things, four things written. So we're going to add them together. Make sure you have your decimal dots in, in uh, aligned. Zero plus zero plus zero plus five, which is five. Five, ten, twelve, twelve and seven, nineteen. Carry one. So we have six, seven, seven plus five is twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So the total cost of their meal is £15.95. They have an £8 voucher, so we're going to take that away. So £15.95, take away the £8 voucher to find out how much more they need to pay. Now remember, £8 is over here because really £8 has no pence. 5 take away nothing is 5. 9 take away nothing is 9. 5 take away I can't do, so I'm going to have to borrow, so now I have 15. 15 take away 8, so leave me with 7. 7 plus 8 is 15. So this is how much more they have to pay. So in total, how much more do they have to pay? £7.95. Well done. That's the end of that one. So that looks quite good. Bye.